In this video, I'm going to show you the secret to understanding how the binary search algorithm works. To start, we should understand that in order for binary search to work, the array that you are searching must be an ordered array. Both ascending and descending ordered arrays will work. Let's start by visualizing our array. In practice, this is much more useful as the size of an array becomes much larger, but we will stick with an array containing nine elements to help us understand the concept more clearly. So let's assume that we want to check our array to see if the value 100 exists inside of the array. The naive solution would be to iterate through each element of the array, checking to see if the value is equal to 100 like so. But for this method, we have to iterate through every element in the array up until the value that we are looking for. What if we have to do this for an array containing a thousand, or a hundred thousand, or even a million elements? This is where something like binary search can be useful, so let's try this again. So here, we are still wanting to check to see if the value 100 is in our array, but this time we'll use binary search to figure this out. To start, we need to find the midpoint of our array, which is just the element in the middle of our array. Our midpoint is here. Now, since our array is in ascending order, we know that anything to the right of our midpoint will be a value that is larger than our midpoint. And everything to the left of our midpoint will be a value that is less than our midpoint. So we need to figure out if this number, 100, which we are searching for, is greater than or less than our midpoint. This will tell us which side of our array our number is on. So if we simply write out 43 is less than 100, we can actually see that the side of the array that our number is on is this side. To paint a full picture, let's for one second pretend that the number we are searching for is 2 and not 100. In this case, 2 would be less than our midpoint, 43. Therefore, it will be on the left side. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why binary search will only work on ordered arrays. Because without the order, there would be no way to tell which side the number we are searching for is on by comparing it to the midpoint. Now let's get back to the original number that we were using for our example. So now that we know that 100 will be on the right side of our midpoint, we can completely do away with anything to the left of the midpoint, including the midpoint. So what we are left with is this. What we've done is we've essentially cut the array in half. To put this in perspective, let's imagine that we have an array with 1 million elements and we divide it by 2. In just one step, we will have cut down the number of elements that we would need to search by 500,000 elements as opposed to iterating through all 1 million elements and searching that way. And it doesn't stop here. We will now do the exact same thing with this half of the array. Let's remember that we are searching to see if the number 100 exists within our array. We will first need to find our midpoint. Now don't be confused by the even number of elements in this array. Although there won't be an even number of elements on each side of our midpoint, it does not actually matter because we actually just need to split the array approximately in half. For example, to find the mid in code, we would do something like divide the length of the array, which is 4, by 2. That resulting 2 we would use as the index of our mid. So let's write out the indexes of this array, remembering that arrays are zero-based, meaning that the starting index will be zero. And if we take this resulting 2 and see what value it points to, we see that our mid is 100, which is the number that we are searching for. So in that case, we would be done. We have found our number. But to prove that which one of these we choose to use doesn't actually matter, let's explore what would happen if the mid 54 were used. Is the number that we are looking for greater than or less than our mid 54? Our number is greater than 54, so that means that we can get rid of the left side. And what we are left with is an array containing only two elements, which again is an even array, so we have no way of determining which one we should choose as our mid. Let's see what would happen if we use 124 as our mid. Is 124 greater than or less than 100? It is greater than, so we can ignore the right half of this array. 
Now we are left with an array containing only one element, so our so-called midpoint can only be this element. And this element is the number we are searching for, so we are done here. So as you can see, regardless of if you have an odd array or an even array, as long as it is ordered, the searched for element will be found if it exists in the array. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how binary search actually works and why it is useful.